All right, Shalom. We are the Hebrew Israelites coming out here week in and week out to prophesy the downfall of America and to let the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans know that they are the true children of Israel spoken of in the Bible. To let the so-called white man know that he's Edom or Esau in the Bible. When you look up Edom, it, it means uh, red. You go back to the story uh, with him and his brother, his twin brother Jacob, right here at Genesis uh, 29, uh, 25, sorry about that. It, it explains the story of Isaac and Rebekah having twins and two separate nations coming from them, which was Jacob and Esau. Jacob today is the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and Esau or Edom is the, the Caucasian, the so-called white man. You look up the, the definition of Caucasian, it means cave dweller. You know, they came from the Caucasus Mountains. Uh, to start it off today, we're going to get into a little bit about the so-called white man, about his kingdom, and, and we're going to take it from there. But before that, we want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, double honors to the apostles of GMS, and blessings to the elect and, and the, uh, the elders and the brothers out there teaching truth and sincerity, and that's looking forward to getting out of this place, man. Uh, the definition of Edom. This is the uh, this is uh, Zonovan's uh, compact Bible dictionary. It says Edom, Edomites, the nation and its people who are the descendants of Esau. I got that. I got that. Cool. Yeah. Who are the descendants of Esau? He founded the country. Oh, wait, wait. So, 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 like it. so when you look up uh, Esau, it goes to Ishar, which means wasted away. What was he wasted away of? He was wasted away of his pigment, man. When Esau came out the womb, he didn't have no pigment. You know, he didn't have no melanin. He was leprous, born leprous, you know. <clears throat> you look in the scriptures, you have clean leprous and you have unclean leprous. He was a clean leper. He was born that way, man. An unclean leper is somebody that might have got cursed or, or you know, just what the Most High put upon them, man. You know, but when he was born, when he came out the womb, he didn't have no pigment. Because back then, when they was having kids, it ain't like they like, oh, we going to, you know, they get together with their woman, like, let's look in the baby book and see what we going to name our child. They, they just went off the spirit, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Jacob came out, and uh, uh, they called him Yaiqua. You know, that means surplanter. He got that. It was prophetic because he surplanted Esau by getting the birthright. Esau, uh, Esau came out, they said, I sure, because he didn't have no pigment, man. And later his name got changed to Edom, which is Adawam, which means red because he ate raw meat, man. Just like the so-called white man nowadays, he'd eat steak tartare, which is pretty much raw steak. They drop it on a skillet. Flip it over to serve it to him. You know? Go ahead. He founded the country, so his name is equated to eat with Edom. It says the country was also called Seir or Mount Seir, which was the name of the territory in which the Edomites lived. Okay, get, uh, now I get Edom. Yeah. Uh, okay. yeah. It says. Edom figures uh, pro prominently in the prophetic scriptures as a scene of future great judgments. Future great judgments, okay. Uh, it says Isaiah 34 and 5 and 6 and uh, Isaiah 63 and 1. It says she... Let's get it, let's get it, let's okay. get it, go ahead. Hold it. Yeah. Isaiah what? Uh, Isaiah... Uh, 30, 34 and 5, okay. and 6, okay. and then 63 and 1. Like I said, it said great future judgments, man. We're going to get into that judgment because a lot of people walk around like the so-called white man is the shit, so to speak, you know, for lack of better term, man. They are. This is their kingdom. This is their dominion. You know, they enslaved us as well as their own people just to be on top. Just to have enough money to get a Corvette, 
to have enough money to get a a a, 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 um, a BMW truck, like whatever. You know, they can pretty much get what they want. It's crazy because I was at the ATM one day, you know, pulling out money to pay bills. And, you know, people be leaving their receipts and shit around. And I seen a receipt. Motherfucker had over a thousand dollars in their account. Mine's only looked like that during tax time for about a good two, three weeks. You know, because I'm either paying bills, I'm getting necessities for the house, or I'm paying debt, man. I don't have I don't have a thousand dollars just sit in my account. This is not our kingdom. It's not supposed to be so, man. Unless you sold out to the so-called white man, you know. But other than that, man, you're supposed to be suffering. You a slave. You're supposed to be going through hell, man. You know that that hell. That's that condition, man. A white man's heaven is a is a black man's hell, but really it's an Israelite's hell. You know they try to separate the minorities. It's not a coincidence that we all minorities, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. We all really one nation when you go into the scriptures. You know? Uh, go ahead, grab that. Yeah, this is uh, Isaiah 34 and 5. For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Mm -hmm. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumia. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. Uh, and I, Idumia is the, the, uh, the Greek way to say Edom. Yeah. You know? So it's going to come down on Edom. The so-called white man, their lands, you know, them as well as their lands and whoever else want to join hand in hand with them, man. If it didn't mean uh, eat them, then why would the Bible dictionary give you this scripture? Exactly. Yep. Go ahead. It says, uh, and upon the and upon the people of my curse to mm -hmm. judgment, and upon the people of my curse to judgment, man. Because the Edom is cursed. He got cursed as Cain when he killed Abel. He was the first so-called white man. And then, if you really want to get in deep, uh, um, Esau is the reincarnation of, of Cain, man. You know, that's why he came out with that mark. That mark that was put on Cain, that's the same mark. A uh, uh, lack of pigment or lack of melanin that, that Esau had when he was born. You know, it's a curse, man. Go ahead. It says the sword of the Lord is filled with blood. It is made fat with the fatness, mm -hmm. and with the blood of lambs and goats, with the fat of kidneys of rams. For the Lord have a sacrifice in Basra, <laughs> and a great slaughter in the land of Idumea. And Basra was a land of the Edomites. You know, that is that great sacrifice, man. He, he's pretty much sacrificing that nation to uplift our nation. The Negroes, Latinos, and the Native Americans. Because it's not like we're going to be in America forever for, for 15, 20, 30 more years and all of that. No, the Most High, or the one who you call God and angrily call Jesus Christ, they're going to come back. He's going to send his son back for the second coming that everybody's waiting for. To bring what? That great judgment that it just said in the Bible dictionary. That great judgment, man. And that sword, that, hey, that could be twofold, man. That could be uh, 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 Shai, the one who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ, his actual sword. Because the next scripture that it told us to get, go ahead and get a 63 and 1. The next scripture that it told us to get, he's going to tell you what he's going to do with his actual sword or how his raiment is going to look. And then a sword, when you read in the scriptures, a sword is also known as the nuclear missiles, man. Because there's going to be a third world's war, whether you believe it, whether you like it. Whether you want to receive it, whether you dream about it, whether you despise it, reject it, whatever. There's going to be a third world's war and it's going to be nuclear, man. So that's also part of the sword that's going to be bathed in heaven, man. You want to know why? Because it's going to be shot from one end of the earth into the other. Go ahead, that Isaiah 63. Isaiah chapter 63, verse 1. Who is this that cometh from Edom with dyed garments from Basra? Mm -hmm. This... This that is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength. That uh, I that speak in righteousness, mighty to save. Wherefore art thou red in thy apparel, and thy garments like him that treadeth in the wine fat? Yeah, because they would, you know, this is how they would pretty much make wine then. They would put it in a, in a I don't know what you want to call it, like a, a huge, barrel. Yeah, a huge barrel, and they would stomp on it, man. You know, and they, they whatever they wearing would have, it would be red from the, the quote-unquote blood of the grapes, so to speak, man. 
You know, from them stomping on the grapes, their apparel will be red. Just like if you take a, a grape and smear it on your white shirt, you know, or you take a bottle of wine and just drop it on you, you know? <laughs>